really some fucking peace be. Last night was just absolute insanity. This is a nice sunrise too. Too bad they've got fucking flashbacks of you holding that dude down and pissing on him. Shh, relax. Did I get much out? Oh, at least I got someone. What did Warwick want? He looked like he was gonna cry. Hector, may I have to bring you back? This fucking piece of shit here at 60 Minutes is spinning the story on me. Calm down, B. Fuck, I know. They're trying to tell the whole nation that Danny drugged me. And that's why I saw the hologram of my fucking awful ex-wife. And then bumped into that bloody Sasquatch that knew my name. Talking to me. I know that he's real. And get this right. They're trying to tell the entire Australian fucking nation. Right. That the bloody UFO was a fucking septic tank. And I reached into it and pulled out Danny's tapeworm and put it in my pocket. But this isn't even out of the ordinary for you. I don't know why you're fucking moaning. I rode up river off the cunt fucking thing and brought it into 60 minutes to begin my own demise. Well, you basically did take over the whole last episode, so maybe it's just karma. You know what I'm like, Hector, I need the attention. They're refusing to blur my face because I signed the wave of Hector, what the fuck do I do? Oh my God, I might start smoking again. Go over fucking Derry, Jack. Fuck. And he said something like he handled his brother's tapeworm well, on national television or some fucking shit. Handling a tapeworm? Wow. Oh, who the fuck is this? Hey, is that fucking Ethan Rory? Rory. We just personal jinx? Fuck up. Right. They're just fucking staring at us. Why are they not getting out? Things running rich as fuck. Tell them to turn that fucking piece of shit off. Why are you in such a shit mood? Stinks out. Piss, it, piss right. in the tank. You piss in the tank. Oh, piss in the tank. Oh no, you piss in the tank. Oh. What the fuck? Man, they had a rough night, boys. I am so fucking glad to see you, Hector. I need to tell you what happened. It actually worked. I'm already starting to have flashbacks. Well, it, the stage is yours. Because I don't know how long everyone's been fucking waiting for this shit. You didn't have to be passive aggressive, B. But I've seen the person that's trying to assassinate me and I'm starting to get a picture on why. I think it's got something to do with my f- You gotta do what it takes to fucking survive! Whatever it takes to survive! Hey, you going, brother? You gotta, you gotta do, do what it takes to survive! survive. Oh. Is this the real bad gross? Sorry, boys, I forgot to tell you, my brother's here to pick me up. My only job was to get it to the Oracle, and that's fucking done. So good to see you, brother. Why don't you introduce the family? Meet my wife, her name is Mare. And my little daughter here, her name is Pear. I require satiation via my own urination. <laughs> Mare and Pear Grills. Yeah, I'm Mare. <laughs> Come in, I'm Mare. That dude takes us to survive. Nice. This is my friend Hector and my other new friend Etc. Did your mum just open up a dictionary to a random <laughs> page and pick your name? So funny. Since you ask, it's a nickname I got from primary school. And Hector actually it takes Hello, a Hector. Survive. You gotta do what it takes. Survive. Do what it takes. Survive. Takes survive. So, brother, what have you been up to lately? I brought a drink company in New Zealand called L and P. Stands for lemon and pyroa, and I just changed the ingredients slightly. What ingredients are you using now? Now, lemon and piss. Oh, well done, brother. I'm so proud of you. Can't do what it takes to survive. Looks like you're done here. Let's fucking fuck off. You can fuck off, brother. I'll catch up with you shortly. That's me. Got to take survive. Cetera. Survive, takes to survive. Hector, takes to survive. 
Hector, it was amazing to meet you, and it was great to spend several days in your presence. Chubby, thank you for whatever the fuck that was. Etc. I wish you the best of luck with your future and the amnesia, and I hope you got what you needed from the Oracle. Thanks for everything, Peter. You're gonna have to go before I start crying. And I just want you to remember, you gotta do what it takes to survive. You gotta do what it takes to survive, baby. Right. The shirt's coming off, and I'm fucking off. Oh, yeah. He's got fucking dreadlocks coming out of his back. Fuck, Hector, I'm gonna miss that, man. He took us through the fucking jungle for no reason. He made you drink his piss. He drew a fucking dick on my face. He was taking photos of us in the river. Uh, he tackled that dude last night and held him down and pissed on him. He was a fucking animal. Yeah, true. But he did help me with my amnesia. Well, baby, now that it's just the two of us, apart from these stupid fucking parrots up there. Would you like me to take a shot in thy mouth? Why don't you tell us what memories have come back? Well, basically, I met an astral plane slug called Hualia. Fuck, and hold he, up, uh, I just had a text from Warwick. Holy shit. What, what did Warwick say? I just lit the building on fire, Hector, and now I'm a fugitive. Fuck these cunts. Okay, mate, so you'll tell me there's no way that you're going to blur my face. No, mate, I'm sorry, but, you know, you've signed the waiver and we've gone to great lengths to create this piece of television. And it's your final fucking decision, is it? Look, I do apologise, all right? I apologise on behalf all of, right. you know... good luck. No. No, 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 no. you made your choice, mate. Fucking good luck. Don't do anything no, silly. No, 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 no. You made your choice, mate. All right? Let's fucking just see how this plays out, right? I just lit the building on fire, Hector, and now I'm a fugitive. Fuck these cunts and send. Change the glass, change the clothes, mate. That'll keep them off the trail for long enough, I'm pretty sure. Now, how the fuck do I get back to New Zealand? I'm not gonna lie, babe, but that feels heavy. Yeah, bro. Heavy. How long until we have to catch our plane? Bro, we're flying out tomorrow. True. So we got a day and a lot. Bro, what were you saying? You got some memories back, or...? I wasn't really saying much, it's just... I've seen the man that's trying to kill me. True. But I was told that I have to wait for more memories to come back. If we've got a data burn, I should probably show you this. I must have stolen it from the Oracle when I was stumbling around in the catacombs. It's a potion that's kind of like the one I took, but this one says the cave. The cave. Yeah. That's fucking terrifying. But it might do something good for us. Or it might be extremely bad for us. Yeah. I guess it does feel like the world's burning. Fuck it. We'll have half each. Oh, oh, but that one was sweet. Sticky. I guess we'll just hang out under the big tree. Look under the tree. What the fuck is that? We have to go. Babe, do you think the parrots will look after us? I don't know what the fuck they're up to. Try not to keep her waiting. <laughs>